Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this week's Underspire. But I'm going to do something a little bit different, because I want to see what this is. Gives magic to a random ally, get that, but then summons a random book. There are no book-type troops in the game, are there? That's so why I'm missing something? I don't think so, so I just want to see what happens when I summon this. So I'm going to get rid of a, one of these troops in a second, but the way this team typically works is... And you can change one of them troops for Sitharask, by the way, aka Janet. Obsidian Libram explodes magic plus one gems, then summons a Obsidian Depths troop. So that's our Exploder. He'd want to explode stuff because with two Dragonstone Guardians, which is the typical team you might run with this, deals damage to all enemies, then creates a mix of five good and bad Gargoyle gems. They are really effective Gargoyle gems, but you do need a way to explode them or destroy them because they cannot be matched. As well as that, we get a 35% chance to give Reflect to a random ally when my turn begins. So with two of them, that's going to be really cool. But I want to see what this does. So I'm going to get rid of one of them so I can charge this up and then summon in a book and see what it, see what it is. So uh, yeah, let's um, dive in with this. Like I say, if you've got a Sitharask, just pop one of those in there and get the job done in a hurry. Right, so banner for this kind of team, I would use a plus two brown, plus one purple, minus one green cavernous banner from Durgaroth and Geomancer. Really cool class. We're going to get 50% start on constructs, reduce damage from skulls. We can have cool stuff like impact. We are using a tome, so we'll get a three magic boost. Anti-magic sphere, tactician, rock, solid, tree of knowledge, fortitude. Right, let's see what this summon of book malarkey is all about. Right, I could have put it at the top really so it got first dibs, but hey hey. Never mind. It's gonna happen anyway. I'm gonna get these manually. Right, we are ready to cast. So let's see what it does. Give 63 magic to a random ally, then summon a random book. Let's do this. Well I did that, and this is what happened. So basically I've restarted the video and got back to the same place as I was before, before I did that. So I'm not going to do it because it just literally throws you out of the game completely and just um, just crashes. And it's because there's no book type teams in the game, I presume. It's like, honestly, this is so mind-bogglingly daft and stupid. It is mind-bogglingly daft and stupid on an epic level. Only the devs of Gems of War could possibly create a troop the summons a type of troop that isn't even in the game yet, hence the game crashing. It's like, I honestly do not understand it. It's stupidity on the greatest level. It's like, it's beyond daft. It's absolutely insane. It's like, I, I'm, I know I'm a bit lost for words, which is doesn't happen very often. So uh, I'm going to just um, win this game, I suppose, by casting this troop instead. And you cannot use that troop because it's just going to throw you out of the game every single time. So let's get our free lantern. That's a bit mind-boggling, that. Honestly, it's absolutely... It's, it's just nuts. How can you do that? How can you make such an obvious, obvious mistake? They've created the troop. They've decided what it does. They've decided it goes in the shop today. Without any of the summons being available. What is wrong with that lot that create this game, honestly? It's absolutely nuts. It's disorganisation on an epic scale. Right, so considering that we cannot use is ban, it's is bins banned, <laughs> is, the jokes write themselves with these devs sometimes, honestly. Is bin banned. <laughs> so considering that is bin banned, we'll uh, chuck in another Dragonstone Guardian. And we'll just chuck in a obsidian axis, I suppose, for a little bit of a variety. Not much variety in colours, but it doesn't matter because we'll get plenty of summons with this. We can get lots of damage to war with this as well to complement our Dragonstone Guardian. Right, let's uh, roll with this then. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. Let's put a troop in the game that has a summon of a troop that doesn't exist yet. Fantastic. You gotta love it. It's just it gets to a point where it's actually just laughable in the end, I suppose. 
Alright, let's do all this. It will get first dibs on those colours again, so it's not going to charge absolutely instantly sometimes, but I'm so bomb bamboozled by the stupidness of <laughs> that troop that it's like, what the heck? Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Right, let's um, see if we've got a different way of going about this. That was a little bit too slow. Uh, not really, I don't think. If you want an explodey weapon. I suppose you could put one of them to the top. On the early stages. Have that second. Got reduced damage from Skulls by 50%. It's still going to happen pretty quickly, but they get first dibs on the brown now. So it should be a little bit faster. Oh, there we go. Loads faster. That's a better order. Particularly at first, anyway. And the good thing about that order is, if you do lose your top, top troop, if you're unlucky, then you're going to benefit from the summon from the Obsidian Libram. So, yeah. Second place for that Obsidian Libram is definitely a little bit better, I think. Uh, let's get some brown for it. Some yellow or brown, but they do not exist. Purple do not exist. Yes, they do. They're up there. And blinded by the amazing wizardry of the Gems of War devs' geniusness and the way they plan their game. <laughs> Only joking. They probably gave it to a new trainee or something to do as their new employee or something and they didn't do it properly. Wouldn't have been them. No way. Far too professional. Right, yeah, yeah, there we go. Top troop charged up. Look, I say, pop in a Sitharask, aka Janet, if you've got that, it's going to get it done faster on the later levels when things get a bit tougher, if you go nice and deep in the dungeon. <clears throat> but yeah, that'll, that'll do for that. So I've only just run out of my normal ones, and I've only got lanterns left, just run out of torches. But yeah, there's the video, and don't use is ban. Is been banned. Because it'll just crash your game. But there's a video if you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful. And let me know what you think about this in the comments. Goodness me. The devs. This has got to be one of the daftest cock ups so far, hasn't it? It's like some stuff you can understand because it's just really technical. There's a lot going on with the game. But to put a troop in the game that summons something that doesn't even exist in the game, <laughs> it's just. It's, oh, God. Oh, the devs. They're amusing, if nothing else. But there it is. Thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.